Hi there, everybody. This is uh, Jackson O'Brien uh, from Peace Coffee. I'm the head barista here, and uh, while this French press is going, I'm going to also brew an AeroPress, just for funsies. See if I can brew a cup of coffee while I'm brewing a cup of coffee. A lot of people ask, about, is the AeroPress anything like uh, a French press? Uh, there is in, in that water and coffee and uh, pressing is involved. Aside from that, not at all. Uh, well, the French press takes a long time to brew, the AeroPress takes very little time to do. While the uh, French press uses a very coarse grind, the AeroPress uses a very fine grind. Um, and uh, also, while French presses are very fragile, I know a lot of people break these uh, just through you know, regular use, uh, aero presses are practically indestructible. Um, also, while French presses are a bit of a pain to clean, aero presses are really easy to clean. So here's how we use it, do it. Let's start out by loading a filter into our aero press filter basket and setting it on top of a brew vessel. In this instance, I'm going to use a mason jar. I'm going to use uh, one scoop from the AeroPress. That should be around 15 grams of coffee. This is going to be enough to brew around 250 milliliters uh, of coffee. Uh, that's going to be enough to fill this mug once. It's a marvelous way to brew a single cup of coffee at a time. Uh, I'm going to heat my whole system up. I've just got some hot water in here, and I'm just going to pour this in here so that everything in here starts out good and hot. And while this is uh, infusing with some heat, I'm going to grind this. You want a f pretty fine grind. Uh, you want something that's going to clump just a little bit when you pinch it. Uh, just a little bit finer than, uh, say, your table salt that you might use, but not quite to, like, confectioner's sugar level. There we go. I'm going to discard that rinse water. Set this on top of here. Add my coffee. I'm going to fill my kettle with a little bit more water. Need some to brew this AeroPress with. So I'm going to tear out my scale here, and I'm going to pour uh, 250 grams of water into here. It's pretty much going to fill the chamber of the AeroPress. If I don't get everything saturated immediately, that's okay, because we're going to saturate everything with this stir paddle here. Here we go, 250 grams of water. I want to stir this for a solid 50 seconds. Uh, now, if you don't know how long 50 seconds is, uh, I will tell you it is the amount of time that it takes to th sing the theme song from Friends with the guitar intro and outro. I'm going to do that in my head so we don't violate any copyright issues. And there we go. Take that out, wipe off our paddle. Now it's time to finish the brew. Like I said, this happens really fast. Let's take it off the scale so you don't accidentally overload it, and we're just going to press this down with this plunger. Just stop it once when you hear some hissing. There it is. Once you hear that hiss, you're done. Take it away, turn it upside down. Like I said, clean up on these is a breeze. Uh, all I'm going to do is remove this filter basket. We use this as a trash can. Push that uh, coffee puck out. And then just give this a rinse. There you go, ready for the next brew. So right here, I've got a cup of coffee waiting for me to put that in a mug. 